They are a big part of what makes Oregon and Washington beaches so beautiful. The sand dunes that stretch up and down the coast. But what you might not realize is that those dunes were not here originally. They were made with the help of the beach grass that grows atop them. In the early 1900s, two species of beach grass were brought to Oregon and Washington to help create the dunes. They were brought over to our coast in order to stabilize what is naturally a very shifting sand environment. Those dunes in turn act as a protective barrier for the homes and communities behind them. But recently, researchers noticed something different about them. One of the dune ecologists at Oregon State was out on the dunes and started to notice a grass that just looked sort of intermediate between the two species. Um, it just looked different. Oregon State University researcher Rebecca Mostow set out to find out what it was. She discovered the two non-native grasses had reproduced to create a hybrid. The classic example is when a horse and a donkey mate, they produce a mule. And what's notable about mules, right, is that they're bigger and stronger than either horses or donkeys. And like a mule, this hybrid grass was bigger and taller and it was spreading. The question now, how will it impact the dunes and in turn the communities they protect? And those dunes are built by these beach grasses and we know that the different grasses build different shaped dunes. And so the question for us about the hybrid is, if this hybrid spreads, what kind of dunes will it build? Researchers say because the beaches are so vast, they need help finding where the new hybrid grass is growing where we're training community members, anybody who spends time out on the beach, how to identify the hybrid and setting them up to identify the hybrid out in the field and then post their observations onto iNaturalist. So the researchers can track this new grass and better understand what it will do. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.